Yeah, CHIP stands for Clonal Hematopoiesis of Indeterminate Potential. Uh, so clonal hematopoiesis simply means uh, hematopoietic blood contribution from a single clone. So normally there are tens of thousands of hematopoietic stem cells that produce the blood. Um, however, as people get older, there's an increased likelihood of a single hematopoietic stem cell contributing an outsized proportion of blood. This most commonly occurs due to somatic mutations in a specific set of genes. So surprisingly, the genes are what we would call epigenetic regulators, um, and particularly genes that are involved in altering DNA methylation state. This is surprising because prior to about seven or eight years ago, we had even no idea that these genes were mutated in cancers. Uh, we, we typically think of cancer-causing genes as oncogenes um, that increase proliferation state of cells or tumor suppressor genes that allow cells to cycle through DNA damage. Uh, but the genes that predominantly cause CHIP do not fall neatly into one of those two categories. So overall, CHIP actually is uh, fairly uh, benign. So people who have CHIP have largely normal blood counts uh, and they can live for many years. Um, however, they are at most increased risk of developing hematologic cancers, um, about tenfold increased risk relative to people who don't have these mutations. The absolute risk of developing a blood cancer is about 1% per year, and, and the individuals who have CHIP are most likely, uh, if they are going to develop a blood cancer, to develop myeloid cancers like AML or MDS. At this point, that's still speculative um, in the research realm. We can certainly identify these individuals uh, because screening for CHIP is a simple blood DNA test. Um, so it'd be easy to identify people with CHIP, but as of right now, we have no interventions to offer. So uh, that's why we don't screen people for it. That may change, however. There are uh, potentially new drugs coming out that could uh, prevent the risk of leukemia in some of these individuals. Yes, so we also identified that individuals with CHIP have an increased risk of developing uh, certain cardiovascular events um, like strokes and heart attacks, uh, which was surprising because one normally doesn't uh, consider mutations in blood cells uh, as having anything to do with vascular health. But what we and others have found uh, is that the mutations that cause CHIP, uh, which occur in hematopoietic stem cells, well, it also affects the way that the differentiated blood cells that derive from these hematopoietic stem cells, like monocytes, granulocytes, macrophages, those also get altered. And we think what happens is that the mutations make those cells more pro-inflammatory. And by virtue of increased inflammation, the individuals who have these mutations are also more likely to develop heart disease. And so my lab is interested in studying more about that process.